The point of the research study that we're doing right now is to understand how the structure and the function of these children's brain, of children who are enrolled in the Aerosmith program, it, are changing with that intense educational experience. And what's exciting about the study is that we'll be able to pair our brain imaging data on structure and function with changes in educational psychological assessment. So not only can we show what areas of brain change, but whether or not that's related to change in the capacity for education or um, planning, thinking, those types of things. We've recruited a group of children who are enrolled in the Aerosmith programs from the local community, um, the island of Vancouver, as well as down in Washington State. We also have a group of children um, who are our control group who aren't enrolled in the program. So for all of those kids, they come in, they undergo an hour in the magnetic resonance image machine we have here. So we have an MRI in the basement of this building. They go down, we do an hour long brain scan, and then they come back and they actually complete between six and eight hours of cognitive testing here in the lab as well. So we then are going to look at those data now, um, and then we'll look at them in a year from now and look to see what's the relative amount of change in those two groups across that time frame. We actually started with a few children back in January and February of this year of 2014. Those are children who were just coming into the program. And then in the last, um, in August and September now, we've collected a huge number of children who are, because it's the beginning of the academic year, who are just starting the program. So we're just concluding that right now. We've enrolled almost 45 children from the relative programs, Aerosmith programs. Over the summer, we worked on our control group because they're not enrolled, so we could start whenever. So we have about 12 controls. And we're just finishing off that first group of children who are just enrolling in the Aerosmith. And now we wait. So we'll do our second few uh, groups of brain scans in winter of 2015. And then we'll start to have an idea, an inkling, but we really won't know for a year. When we talk about change, and I talk about change, we're looking at change in how the brain is, is working and how it's architecturally organized, if you will. So we'll look to see if the intervention can be linked to um, more thickness in the cortex, for example, more myelin, that insulation around our nerves, more of that. And then we'll also look to see if there's changes in the patterns of the functional activity in the brain. Um, and now those changes in patterns of functional activity, that might be less activity. So less activity is much more efficient if you, if you think about it in that context. But it would be very interesting to see if across a year of intense practice, if the brain is now working, it's, if it's bigger, more robust, and then also working more efficiently. We'll publish papers so that we can share this information with other educators, the scientific community, the education community at large. Um, we will also plan to disseminate them to the community at large, the lay community at large, probably through a series of public forums or talks. Um, and then lastly, we of course want to share that information with the families and children who were kind enough to donate their time. It's a lot of time that they're giving us. They're, they're incredibly generous with their time. So we'll share it back with them. The other thing to keep in mind, and, and this comes from experience of doing this for a while, is every research question just seems to lead to a next one. So I'm confident we'll find something interesting, and I'm confident we'll lead to a whole new series of questions that then need to be investigated and, and kind of disentangled and figured out. So I kind of think of this as the a first essential step in, in a fairly new field, and it's going to be the first step down probably a quite long path.